Buddy Cab. Jed here from Thailand, my land. I recently uh, published my new book, a three week road trip through Northwest Thailand. It's the second book in the series. The first book was about taking a, a three week road trip through Southern Thailand. And I'll be taking another road trip soon to do some research for my third and final book in the Just Another Day in Paradise series entitled A Three Week Road Trip Through Eastern Thailand. So I've put together this short video to give you an idea of what you can expect from the book. Thailand is a fantastic country to visit, but with most people flying into Bangkok before heading south to the more touristy hotspots such as Pattaya, Phuket, Krabi, Phi Phi Island and Koh Samui, they miss out on seeing the real Thailand, the Thailand that is virtually undiscovered by most tourists. A three week road trip through northwest Thailand is my second book in the Just Another Day in Paradise series of books. Unlike my retirees series of books, this series is not just for retirees or people who may be considering living here in Thailand. This book series is a little different as it's aimed at anyone who would like to take an exhilarating road trip through this beautiful country. A three week road trip through Northwest Thailand takes you on a road trip to some of the most beautiful rural areas of Northwest Thailand, starting in Bangkok and then heading north to Kanchanaburi, Erawan National Park, Kampang Phet, Fitsanaluk, Lampang, Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Chai Nat, and then on to the old ancient capital city of Ayutthaya. The book is filled with all of the information that you'll need to give you the confidence to take the trip of a lifetime around the alluring and mysterious Northwest Thailand, including how to plan your trip of a lifetime, a suggested itinerary, the best seasons to travel, interesting facts on many of the stunning places in this area of Thailand, where to stay, historical areas, the best temples to visit, where to go and what to do in the daytime, where to go and what to do in the nighttime, where to eat and drink, best nightlife and bars and lady bars, Tips and ideas to ensure that you get the most out of your road trip. Helpful English translations of essential Thai words and phrases and so much more. Most people who come to Thailand, they fly into Savani Bum Airport and that's where this uh, book will begin in Bangkok. Bangkok is a vibrant city that's known for its unique culture, delicious foods and bustling nightlife. Tourists come from all over the world, the Thai capital, to experience its many attractions which include ancient Buddhist temples, lively street markets and the King's Palace. But there's so much more to do in this wonderful capital city. The first stop on this uh, three week road trip after Bangkok would be Kanchanaburi. Now Kanchanaburi is a town in West Thailand. It's known for the death railway built during World War II and the famous railway bridge that crosses the river Kwai. Owing to its history, Kanchanaburi is quite a sad place to visit and there are many war related places to see scattered all around the town. But the town isn't all about the war. This town offers a splendid riverside location, several markets with authentic local flavour, beautiful Buddhist monasteries and a languid provincial town atmosphere. The second stop on this three week drive through northwestern Thailand will be Erawan National Park. It sits near the Myanmar border and it's famous for the Erawan Falls that cascade down seven tiers of rock formation. 
Erewhon National Park is only about a 65 kilometre drive or about an hour from Kanchanaburi and it's a great place to come just to have a little bit of a relaxing time and see the countryside and some of the wildlife that call Erewhon National Park their home. So the third suggested stopping place on this three week tour of northwestern Thailand would be Kampang Phet. Kampang Phet is a province in upper central Thailand. It's famous for its ancient monuments, city walls, trendy locals and delicious food. But its main claim to fame is the incredible Kampang Phet historical park with ruins that date back to the 14th century during the Sukhothai period of rule. So that brings us to our fourth stopping off point on our road trip round northwest Thailand. And that's the town and province of Fitsanaluk. Fitsanaluk has a long history dating back to the 11th century. The town was a small outpost of the Kama Empire and became an important town in the Sukhothai Kingdom. In the second half of the 15th century, Fitzanaluk was the capital of the Ayutthaya Kingdom for around about 25 years. The fifth place on our three week itinerary is Lampang. Lampang is known as the gateway to Chiang Mai. The town is also unique because of the large number of horse and carts or rot ma as they're called that are still used as a form of transport the horse and carts were introduced over a century ago by the Burmese communities who settled in Lampang. Lampang is also known for its beautiful scenery and some stunning temples like this one sitting high up on the mountains looking down into Lampang province. And number six on the places to stay on our three week journey through northwestern Thailand is Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is the jewel in the crown of uh, northern Thailand. It's the fourth biggest city in Thailand. And it's also the second busiest tourist area in Thailand after Bangkok. The city was founded in 1296 and it was the capital of the independent Lana Kingdom until 1558. Its old city area still retains vestiges of walls and moats from its history as cultural and religious centre. It's also home to hundreds of elaborate Buddhist temples with this stunning gold temple Wat Phra That Doi Suthep being the most famous one. And the seventh stop on our itinerary will be the sister city of Chiang Mai which is Chiang Rai. Chiang Rai is also home to a lot of hill tribe villages including the Karon long neck tribe but Chiang Rai is most famous for its white temple the temple's white color symbolizes Buddha's purity but it's like no other Buddhist temple you'll see in Thailand with its eclectic collection of statues of superheroes like Superman and even a statue of New York's Twin Towers burning mixed in with Star Wars characters and characters from the Matrix We're on our home leg of the journey now, heading back to China, which is one of my favourite places in Thailand. Here it has a beautiful big bird park, it's the biggest bird park in Asia. The area also boasts a, a huge aquarium complex and China and the surrounding areas are also home to many, many beautiful temples just like this one. 
As far as history is concerned, we've saved the best for last. Eutia, the Eutia Kingdom, which existed from 1351 until 1767, was one of the largest and most prosperous empires of its time. The historical park comprises of the ruins of temples and palaces and is located on an island surrounded by three rivers where the old capital used to be. So today we head back to Savani Bomb Airport for your flight home after a fantastic three week road trip through North West Thailand. So if like I was before I moved to Thailand you're sick of your own country that's getting more and more remote by the day and where your rights are being slowly taken away from you by your so-called governments where the country that you were born and grew up in is deteriorating so much that you don't even recognize it as your own anymore maybe it's time to consider retiring overseas if that's the case take a look at my new book the retiring thailand handbook 2023 it's filled with everything that you'll need to know about living in the land of smiles or if thailand doesn't rock your boat take a look at my book the 10 best countries to retire to on your pension thailand malaysia vietnam cambodia bali indonesia spain portugal costa rica belize and panama so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video cheers for now